Hi everyone, Hannah here. Welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah. I love all things Disney Lounge Fly, Star Wars, Harry Potter. However, today is a medical video. So, you'll probably see bits and bobs around me. I'm getting a bag packed ready to go into hospital because by the time you're seeing this video, it will have already happened. But I am having surgery very soon. I've been waiting for years, obviously, with everything happening, the world pretty much shut down. Everything got pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. There's been a cancellation, so it's all very last minute. I've not really had time to plan for anything, which in a way I'm grateful for, because that means I can't overthink it too much. I tend to overthink things too much when it comes to medical stuff. So I thought I would kind of talk a bit about through that and what I take with me when I go into hospital, when I know I'm going to have a stay there, that is. Just to go through things. So a real quick bit of backstory first, for quite a few years now I've had ulcerative colitis which is a form of inflammatory bowel disease, a bit similar if you will to Crohn's disease and I tried every medication option that they had, nothing worked for me. So I have a stoma, just down here, had that surgery in February 2020, so it's been two and a half years now, we're in September 2020. Um, some people get on fine with a stoma, others not so much. I'm kind of in the middle. There are days that it doesn't phase me and there are other days when I just can't deal with it very well. So surgeon did a couple like procedures, cameras and such which like things. Like, plenty of bloods have been taken. I'm surprised I've got any blood left. Um, and she said we can try the J pouch surgery. So long and short of it, I'll put some NHS links down below because I'm not going to go into all the technical bits and bobs. But right now, I don't have a colon, the bowel is gone, that will never come back. So I have a stoma coming out my stomach and a stoma bag. Now what they can do, and thankfully my surgeon is a laparoscopic surgeon, so she can just go in with the small incisions. There's always the risk of having to be fully opened up, there's always that risk. But laparoscopic is just the small incisions and then oh, the tools go inside your body and it's not that huge. Cut down the middle and open up. So recovery is better and quicker with laparoscopic. Obviously there's always risk with everything, all that fun stuff. So, they will take my small intestine and create an internal pouch, kind of like that in a way, they kind of J it back on itself, which is why it's called a J pouch, that will act as a bit of a reservoir for poop. Yes, poop talk. Bit of a reservoir for poop. Couple of months after this surgery, which by the time you're watching this, I'll already have had. So that'll be fun. Um, after a couple of months of that healing, so I'll still have a stoma for now while that all heals. If it heals, you never know until you go back in, if it actually works. The next surgery will then be to connect everything back up and remove the stoma so everything then goes through the bottom again. That one is the kind of, well they're both scary, it's both major surgery and I'm being put to sleep. Obviously you're not going to want to be awake for that stuff. That one I think is the more scary one because this time I'll still have a stoma. So I'm not, like obviously internally I'm going to feel like I've been completely destroyed and battered and bruised. But it's the next one that's kind of the bigger, scarier one, if that makes any sense. So I thought I would show what I'm going to take with me. Now I've got a trusty backpack. Now if you've seen my videos before, you know I love Disney. If you are new because this is a medical video, hello! I tend to only do Disney videos really. But, there we go. So, one of the first things that I've put here, puzzle books. Depending what hospital you're in, depending what ward you're in, they do or don't have TVs. Now, I'm under the care of New Cross Hospital, and most of the wards I've been in there do have TVs. However, I'm pretty sure, now, back in Feb 2020, I believe it was between 7am and 12 noon, the TVs were just on. Like you each get a TV across your bed and they were just on. If you wanted the full 24 access TV, you had to pay for that. I don't want to pay for that. And I'm hoping not to be in for a huge amount of time. So, puzzle book. Just 
something silly to keep your mind off things, I go for a Sudoku. Keeps the brain wearing two pens because last time I took one and the one did not last. So i just shove everything behind me for now. Puzzle books. Next, there's no rhyme or reason or order to this. It's just how I've stacked it up. Just a little bag with some generic like face wipes. I've got some deodorant because you can't always go in the shower straight away. So you want to at least have a bit of a clean. I've got a little bit of moisturiser because the big bottle that I had was like a big one. So travel size moisturiser oh you do have to take any medication you already have now i'm on brown and blue inhalers so the blue one is in my other like normal backpack this is just like a morning and night one and then a little bit of lip care because you need your lip care you do also have a bit of vaseline but that's nearly on its way out so just it's like a toiletries bag i will put my toothbrush and toothpaste in there as well that's for later because obviously i've got to use that for the next couple of days now, I'm the sort of person that's always cold, so for me it's always beneficial to take a blanket. They can sometimes give you extra blankets, but just because I'm one of these annoying people that is always cold, I just often take my own little fleecy blanket, it's just like a Primark Disney thumper blanket, which can sometimes double as a pillow. I use two pillows, whereas sometimes in hospital they only give you one because they only have so many, so it can double up as a pillow, if needed yoink dressing gowns they're just comfortable aren't they really so this one is not mine i have my own dressing gown but it doesn't have pockets my husband has a dressing gown and it has pockets in there which i find very beneficial because last time they kind of try and get you up and walk in as soon as possible now there are loads of tubes loads of different things hooked up to me and the one thing the what do you call the people that help you go to walk again afterwards? I suppose it's like therapy services in a way. She was having to carry one of the bags of things that I was just like hooked up to. The next day I put this on because I had this with me anyway because I can't remember what happened to my old dressing gown. It must have just been really old and got a bit gacky at that point. And it has pockets in it so we were like we'll just put it in the pocket. We're good to go. So my husband's dressing gown because it's He's like a foot taller than me, so it's just extra cosy as well. And I can use this as a blanket. And he's been wearing it for the past couple of days, so it'll just smell like him and remind me of home. Probably silly, I know, but comfort. Anything you can do to help your own comfort, which will then help you recover quicker, is a big win. This bag has all of my stoma stuff in there at the moment. Spare stoma bags the adhesive remover spray, all the wipes, all the disposable bag, all that sort of fun stuff. So this is my like day-to-day -day stoma changing kit because I'll still have a stoma for a while. Next, now I have never worn a sleep mask before and again this is my husband's one but in hospital they obviously can't turn all the lights off. We have blackout blinds and a blackout curtain because we both sleep in pitch black so in hospital, they just dim the lights a bit. And obviously there's beeping noises everywhere, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to try a sleep mask this time. Because the more you can sleep, the quicker you can recover. So it's worth a go. Now, I will be taking, obviously, my phone. So you're going to need a charger. So, phone charger. And all tangled up nicely. Oh, there we go. They've untangled themselves. Just some headphones, because I'm not going to pay for the TV. And I'll probably just watch copious amounts of YouTube videos, so at least I'll have headphones for that, so I don't disturb anybody else. Socks. Now I am taking a few pairs, because you might be hot, you might be cold. And different sorts of pairs are for different things. Now these ones, they do have like the sticky bits at the bottom, so that you don't slip, and they're longer socks, so if I'm particularly cold... They can work. I have some Grogu socks, again with the sticky pads at the bottom. Because why not? I'm going to want to probably change socks each day. Now I'm obviously packing underwear. I'm not going to show you my underwear, so you're going to have to trust me that underwear will be taken and I'll be changing that each day. New socks, again with the sticky pads on, because you do not want to fall while you're in hospital. And they are a very fuzzy pair of socks. Now the two options I'm taking for kind of when they take you on a bit of a walkabout 
is they're more like the slipper socks. Grogu again. So I've got that pair and a Totoro pair with the sticky pads and the socky bits because I don't like proper slipper slippers. I prefer slipper socks. It's probably too many pairs but I'd rather have too many. Clothing wise because we all know hospital robes are not the most comfortable thing in the world so sometimes it's just nice to have your own clothes. So I've got a long sleeve t-shirt these long bottoms, Grogu again, can you see a theme? This is a very long t-shirt. So are you, it's actually a t-shirt, it's just very long, but it's that comfortable and soft that I'll just use it as a bit of a sleep dress. Again, this one still has a tag on. I've never worn this one yet. And it has Baymax on there from Big Hero 6. So it's just cute. A couple of pairs of shorts, because you never know, sometimes in hospital wards, they can be very warm. Sometimes they do crank the heating up. So I might not feel cold. I mean, right now I'm in a big fleecy jumper. And then just Disney princess pyjamas because <laughs> cause I'm an adult. That, I think, is everything. Oh, hair, like hairbrush I'll take. You do have to remove your jewellery. So any, any jewellery you have to remove. You can't wear makeup or nail varnish. That's already gone. Something I will say, I'm probably going to trim my nails just before I go in. There's, sorry, the window's open, so if you can hear any of that. I am going to trim my nails just before I go in. They probably don't need it, but it's just something that I like to do. Uh, I've not got any nail varnish on, I've got to remove all the jewellery. I'll have a hairbrush, toothpaste and toothbrush. I think that's pretty much everything. I will have some bottles of water brought in. I'm really weird, just plain water. I know there's not a taste to it, but I just can't stand it. So they have, I can't, I don't know what it's called now. It's like actual proper vitamins and minerals water that's just like a little bit flavoured. We've got a couple of bottles of that downstairs, but they're big, substantial bottles. I'm not going to be able to lift those straight away. So whoever's coming to visit me will have to bring them for me. So that is what I am taking with me. Um, right now on the outside, I'm very calm. Internally, there's a bit of screaming going on. But it's just natural nerves. Any sort of surgery, major or minor, is a bit of a scary thing. But hopefully it all goes well. I already have a couple Disney videos done. Actually, there's a couple Walt Disney World videos left from our trip in May. Yes, May. I think there's only two of those left now. I'm pretty sure there's only two of those left. I've already got an unboxing done and ready. So there will still be content on a Monday and a Thursday. That won't change, I've already got that ready for everybody and it'll distract me as well, to be fair. Um, but yeah, I will do kind of another video when I'm in hospital, just giving updates and that kind of thing, just in case anybody is interested. So if you are interested as well, I will link a couple like NHS links down below with the more detailed description of kind of what's going on and I'm not going to get hugely technical into it. Long story short, I've got a stoma bag and it's the first step to not having a stoma bag. That is the pretty much the long and short of it. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!